Welcome to this video. Today I'll try to explain what the Chipmunk Known Good LVDS screen is. This is a little board that connects to the Mac with the LVDS cable. Basically this board pretends to be an LVDS screen, keeping the Mac happy. For example, many models of Mac do not even switch on the backlight if they do not see a screen. So this board pretends to be the screen. It tells the Mac, yes, I'm a screen. I'm a very nice screen. You like me. The Mac will turn on the backlight, giving you the chance to check it and measure it. And the Mac will output video data to this make-believe LVDS screen. And that is shown here as well. So the first four LEDs show if there is data on LVDS channel A. The second set of four LEDs show if there is data on LVDS channel B. Each channel comprises of three data lines and a clock line. And here as well, data, data, clock. On the 13 inch screens, only one channel is used, but on the 15 and the 17 inch models, which are the same ones that use the bigger 40 pin plug, both channels are used. These LEDs show what the backlight is doing if the backlight is emitting proper power, then this green good LED will light up. But if the backlight is not working properly or it's not switched on, one of these other three will light up in red. The open LED means it's an open line, so that would imply that it's not connected or there's a yeah, bad contact in the connector or something like that. The short means it's measuring zero volts on the line. So it's outputting absolutely nothing on the backlight voltage line. And no boost means it is outputting a voltage, but it's not boosting it. So if the no boost LED lights up, it implies that the backlight driver is not doing his job for whatever reason. The LEDs on the other side, the PP3V3SO is just that. It shows that the Mac is outputting 3.3 volts on the LVDS connector, which is used by the EDID ROM in the LCD panel to feed back to the Mac what kind of beast it is. Uh, the PP3 V3 underscore switched is the power line that the actual LCD is powered from. So not the backlight, but the electronics in the LCD panel. One of the most interesting LEDs is this one, the EDID uh, LED. This one will light up blue. Uh, once the Mac reads out the EDID ROM from the display. So that gives you valuable information. Is, is the Mac actually trying to, to see what kind of screen it has? Or, or is it not trying? Yeah, it will tell you a lot about up to what point the Mac is working. Let me show you how we use the Chipmunk Known Good LVDS screen. The board connects to the MacBook with a LVDS cable, which is a cable that we took from a dead LVDS screen. We also sell them loose, but if you want, you can also harvest them out of old screens. It connects to the LVDS port. You plug it in very carefully, not to damage the connector. Yeah. And we connect it to MagSafe to power the Mac up. And we see what happens. The MagSafe light is lighting green. Okay, there we go. So it is saying that it's... Uh -uh. And now it's starting. So first it was saying it, it saw the PP3V3SO and it was not happy with the backlight yet. Then it read out the EDID ROM, which is about the same moment that the machine went boing. Then it turned out turned on the power to the screen or the pretend screen in this case. The backlight is now showing green and good. And it's we're getting data on all eight channels. Oh. The 
B2 went off for a moment there, so something is up with that. That could explain why this board is not outputting video properly. Depending on which channels are missing, you would either get strange colors on the screen. Sometimes you see what looks like inverted colors or strange effects going on with the colors. That, that can be caused by one of these channels being missing. If one of the clock channels is missing, then you will lose video altogether. So this helps you a lot to understand why you're not getting video, why you're not getting an image on your LCD. Yeah, if you test with a real LCD, the problem is that the LCD is, is big and fragile and clumsy and it breaks easily. Yeah, this is not fragile, it's small and very clear, but it even gives you much more information. You don't see the image, but it tells you a lot about, yeah, what signals are there and what signals are not there. So rather than observing that you have no image, you might well say, ah, oh, some data channel or clock, clock A is missing. No wonder I have no image. Let's now try another Mac. It's a 13 inch. So I had to use a different cable and connect it to the smaller LVDS connector on the no good LVDS screen. Let's connect MagSafe and see what happens. So the Mac starts up. The backlight signal is not happy, but we are getting data on the channel A, not on channel B, which makes sense because it's, it's only a 13 inch model with a small connector, so it's only one channel in play. We're getting both powers and we see that the Mac read out the EDID ROM in the no good screen. It's not happy with the backlight though, but that could be because the case is closed. Let's see what happens if we open the Mac. Okay, see now the backlight comes on and everything else is still remains the same. If we close it, but you observe that we, we retain the data even when the Mac is closed. Not all models do that. Now we try the same thing on a different model. This is a MacBook Pro 15 inch, 2011. Let's connect the MagSafe. So you see data on both channels. Oh, and the data goes away. The backlight is now showing zero volts, saying it's shorted to ground, so zero volts. It did read the EDID ROM, but you see that the data that was there for a little while went away. Let's now open the Mac and see what that does. Okay. You see the power to this to the LVDS screen comes back, both data channels come back and the backlight comes back. And when we close it, the data goes away again. So and the backlight goes away. So it behaves different from the previous model, which is interesting. Let's now look at the schematic and try and understand this a little bit better. This is the LVDS connector. Here it gets its PP3V3SO that's just connected straight in. This chip is the chip that switches on the, the real power for the LCD screen. These two lines are the I squared C bus that the PCH is using to talk to the EDID ROM in, in the screen. Yeah, so it uses it to identify the screen. What, what model is it and, and is it even there? Then here we have LVDS bus A and LVDS bus B. 
in the clock line they have these little filter things especially in the 2915 model those are really easy to knock off if you yank out the DCN connector clumsily on a 2915 you, you might knock one of those filters off resulting in a black screen with the known good LVDS screen you will immediately see that one of the clock LEDs is no longer on but if you could just connect it to a screen you'll see that the screen is black and you know nothing this line is the uh, backlight power and these are the yeah, effectively grounds for the for the backlight the the backlight power comes from over here here's the backlight circuit here's the backlight going to the LVDS connector this is the the buck converter to make the backlight voltage yeah there's the coil and the diode and the switching MOSFET is hiding inside the backlight chip there are one two three four five six return lines for each of the six strings of LEDs forming the backlight of the panel those are connected to ground in the backlight chip to turn that particular string on the chip also gets fed the PWM signal for the brightness it is switching these lines to ground or not to switch on the individual LED strings this is done in a clever way so that it doesn't turn all of them on and all of them off at the same time but it interleaves them so that the total current draw is is more or less constant even when yeah your brightness is at half power and half the time each particular string is off that is also why you don't really see the backlight voltage vary depending on the brightness here's the fuse so yeah, so the, the, the PP burst G through hot comes here. There's a fuse. Then there's a MOSFET to switch the entire backlight mechanism on and off. That, that, that gets fed into here. And the coil and the, and the diode and the switch from the back converter. Basically, that's, that's what it is. We can redraw this whole thing to understand it a little bit better the the green bit is the electronics in the lcd panel in the lvds panel in this case it plugs into the lvds connector of the mac in the mac we have 3.3 volts feeding in to the screen but that only powers a little tiny rom a little tiny i squared c rom which has the EDID information of the panel. The data is read by the PCH or through with the GMUX and then to the PCH, depending on whether the machine has a, a extra GPU or not. This also has a little filter in it. If this is damaged, it will never read the ROM and it will never recognize the screen. Once the Mac sees, ah, there is a screen, it switches on the 3.3 to the rest of the LVDS panel with this switch here, which is driven by LCD power enable. Then once the screen wakes up, the PCH can communicate with the screen on the LVDS data bus. Then the bottom bit here is the backlight, the fuse, backlight enable, the buck converter, where the FET is hidden in the backlight controller chip, the feedback line that keeps an eye on the output voltage. Here there is some logic from the PWM signal and um, yeah, the, the backlight voltage goes into the LCD panel where there is more than one separate string of LEDs. 
I hope this helps you understand a little bit about how an LVDS screen on a Mac works and that you now understand that our known good LVDS screen is a very useful tool. So to summarize, there are three parts to the interaction between the Mac and the LVDS panel. So the first part is the PCH in the Mac talking to the EDID ROM in the screen over an I squared C bus that we can see here with the EDID LED which shows that the Mac has read the ROM and the PP3V3SO LED that shows that the Mac is feeding power to the ROM. The second part is the data communication going on between the PCH or the uh, GPU through the GMUX. That's this part here. This is where all the information, the actual image is being sent to the screen. That is the top bank of LEDs here. It can comprise of one or two channels, but each, each line in each of these channels has a corresponding LED, so if one channel is out, you can see that, or on, and you can see if there's data being sent at all. The third part is the backlight circuitry, where the PPBS G3 hot is boosted through the buck converter in the backlight controller, and that is shown here. If the backlight voltage is good, it shows you good on a green LED, but if it's not good, it will show you one of three different situations, open line, i.e. floating, short to ground or zero volts, or no boost, implying that it's connected to PP bus, but it's not being boosted. So with all this information, you can know a lot about if your Mac is working or when it's not working, why it's not working? Why are you not getting an image on the screen? Why are you not getting backlight? And all that, you just have to plug it in. It's three seconds of work. It's easier and safer than to plug in a real LVDS uh, LCD screen. And it gives you much more information. One thing to note, this is an it, this emulates an LVDS screen. It does not emulate a embedded DisplayPort EDP screen. So in the MacBook Airs and in the later models, the Apple has switched from LVDS LCD panels to embedded DisplayPort panels. The connectors look the same, but it's not the same thing. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. If you're interested in this product, please visit our website www.cmizapper.com. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to this channel.